Hello everyone, my name is Moki. Today I will be teaching you how, how to optimize Life 2D. There are many different ways to approach it, but first things first, let's go to file. I want to check you something. Okay. So for context, right? These are model statistics. These are important, right? Because it tells you how heavy your model is, right? So this model has 400 deformers, number of rotation deformers 51, number of interpolation and deformers 2944, but and I'll tell you, tell you what each one of those does, okay? So, you have number of art meshes. This one is a thick model. Thick one. But, as you can see, I can still move fairly well with this model, right? It's like a good file, like 10 FPS, but it's way better. Because the moment I approach here, it's still pretty smooth, right? So, what you can do, easiest way to do things is go to project, go to here, right? I want you to access project, right? And basically, I want you to find your files. You have, you will have multiple PSDs, right? For the amount that, what you call this thing? For the amount of time that you have been like adding things to it, right? So this is PSD one, right? You can see how many layers of here, right? Are unused, some of it unused. Most of it are used now, but Basically, what you can do is right-click on it. I want you to delete unused layers. And apart from that, right, I want you to do it to each and every one of those, right? And what happens is it decreases the, the heaviness of the file by a lot. Number two, go to show, go to display quality, and lower that to one half or one fourth. In some rare cases that your model is going to be heavy, just choose one eighth. But in normal applications, you just need one half or one fourth. The one that i use right so apart from that right there are three other ways to achieve like lighter file weights on live 3d next up how do you decrease weights okay that was those were the basic things that you need to know decreasing project file did uh, like deleting all the psds or project files right you what you also need to do right for each one of these basically delete unused model images because it also will lighten like you see here, I have 56, right? I delete that and go here and delete unused layers. It'll also decrease it. So this one has become just a tad bit lighter. Now, what you can do next, right? Keep track of how many deformers that you have that are using a lot of these things, right? So, for example, I'll make this a deformer, right? And this is where, um, hold up, let me borrow this. You don't have to worry much if it's using blend shapes because blend shapes are additive. What you need to worry about are these things, right? So copy, multiplicate, duplicate. You can see how, like, even though my model is like very heavy, right? You can see that the what you call this thing number of interpolations in deformers is not a lot. Typically, it needs to run around 7,000 and all. I just like to hyper-optimize. How do you hyper-optimize? Basically, you set as each deformer, each deformer do their own thing, right? For this one, it just basically handles everything, right? Apart from that, right, you have, for example, here. Okay, so this one handles og y. This one will handle, like, the uh, toggles for it. This one will handle, like, different types of gun parts for it. And basically what that does, right, the more pr basic parameter that it uses, the heavier this thing will be over here. The interpolation deformer. So say, for example, you have a four. Yep. Right here. You can see it went from 2,900 to 3,000. And it is multiplicative, right? So if I add two more, you can see how it jumps from 3,000 to 3,600. If I add another, it's not going to be 3,900. No, it's going to be 4,500. 5,000, I miscounted. And this one will be much more heavier. And instead of being 5,000, it'll be 9,000. It's multiplicative. Make sure that your deformers are not, uh, parameters are not going overboard. Okay, now that your deformers are very light, You've separated each one of those deformers to their own thing, so they don't bear a lot of weight. What are you going to do next, right? 
what is the other thing, the reason why your Life 2D models, say, for example, are heavy, right? Say, for example, you give this thing the normal application, right? But, but, okay, go to models. You see it's still 1,800. If you were to add interpolation, extended interpolation, right? You're going to see the screen, you know, you're going to change it. It's a bit funny because this... All of those balls count as one more. So you can see that it's 2,953, right? If I were to delete this, 2,945. So each one of those balls counts as one, one interpolation in that shit. So say, for example, you have a model file that has like 200 layers, which each one having a, like simple like that, five. So instead of counting as nine normally, right? So if I were to add it, 2945 will now become 2953, right? Or 8. It'll now possess, each one of those will have each their own thing and a multiplicative of 5, right? So it gets, it gets heavy. It gets heavy. That's all I can say. I can do about that, right? Nothing much. What I can suggest is you apply all of the interpolation at the end when you're nearing done so that you can have a faster, better workplace. Next up, how are you going to use what you call this thing, these other parts? Number of art meshes, you can change that. Number of interpolation mesh, not a lot, right? But what you can change is the vertices and polygons in your meshing. So, so say for example, my model is very light. I have meshed every little thing. This one will count as one polygon, two, Three, four, right? There's only four in there. But say, for example, you would have went like this path right here. That that will have, it'll jump up to a few hundreds, uh, not few hundreds, few tens at least. So I don't know how much it has, but you can see that the number of polygons will increase and vertices will increase, right? It's 56, 5 to 8, the previous ones, 5 to 8. You can see now it's 56, 4, 6, 2. It gets, what you call saying, very heavy if you're not careful, right? Because number of polygons and number of vertices count towards the total thing of your model. And in that sense, right, your model gets heavier and heavier and heavier. But the reason why this model, even though, right, this has a thousand layers, it's optimized to the point that I am, you know, using it. How can you decrease it? Like, how can you make it more optimized? This is as optimized as it can be. You can't really do a lot of optimization when your model is like thick as fuck, has a lot of layers, and ha what you call this thing, and all of that, right? But you can counter it, right? By basically giving it tinier meshes like this one making sure that when you're importing things you delete the 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 previous parts that are not being used anymore because it makes the file lighter there is only oh so much that you can do to make things lighter next up is you remove the what you call saying the heavy amounts of parameters on this one so say for example it has all eight of this instead of adding like uh, like additive you saw how it went from Four six, then four four nine hundred, and then five thousand, and then when I ad added one more parameter with three, it jumped to nine thousand. It's multiplicative. Make sure that your parameters are like separated for their own use. So x one x two, or x one x y one, or y one y two, right? Or all you know that naming convention because it helps right so say for example i'm going to show you the hold up let me find the hair piece you can see here how this thing right is using blend shapes use blend shapes for your physics if you can if you can get away with it why because this thing no matter how many how heavy that is it's additive and so instead of going at multiplicative so like three nine twenty seven Eventually, right? This thing is three, six, nine. It's additive, right? If I were to delete all of this, right? You can see the count for it. 
you see it's 2971 if i were to delete this all of it all of it gone we will evaporate it from existence you can see that it only 2957 right you can see how light it was 955 is now 2971 so 5521 this uses 21 so you can see one two three four five six seven eight eight and typically the middle is not counted because that is the origin point so it's only counted at the side so two times eight right 16. oh i did my math wrong but you can see how using blend shapes lessens the amount of work that you'll need to do and you can also add additive motion that is how you can optimize there is another way to optimize things and that is you just make shit invisible when you're working on it so you can see how my file just gets a little bit lighter if i were to hide the body right but that's because i'm consistently hiding shit right so say for example this this mesh right here you can see that how it goes from five six four six two delete this I don't even need to do that because this will be just a PNG. So I can make it very fucking light. Right? You can see how 5652, so 56319, right? This model, right? For Cortex, is using 1000 layers, right? So 1000 layers divided by the, uh, 5 to 6000 divided by 1000, we're using at an average of. 50 50 vertices per like mesh that is to be average some meshes are very light like you have this thing that has these like only five or ten but you'll have others that have like hundreds say for example like the face here has heavier meshing because we're offloading you know we're turning other things light so that we can have heavier things for others what are the key parts that you need to have high meshing eyes mouth whatever that moves a lot head hair apart from that the other else can go as light as you want like this thing right here is only like a few meshing oh all oh, right but we can go lighter because this was the thing i demonstrated earlier so now you can see how much it is lighter can even chop this off. Choop. 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 A lot of statistics. Now you see it's five, six, two, four, nine. So a lot of things that you can make your models be optimized, right? And apart from that, that's it. Decrease the project. Number two, decrease mesh count. Number three, decrease show here display quality, right? Number four right decrease the um the basic parameters right that have a lot of this remove it because what happens is it's you know multiplicative right your shit will get cancer and i'm not kidding i had files that have like six and eight of these and the reason why the model was like lagging was because they had like eight of these so yeah and it's like been the consistent problems for a lot of rigs that i had fixed before remove it I can just leave. I'm easy anyway. But yeah. Now, right? Number of polygons is from when you're using the what you call this thing? The these things. Right? So uh, say for example this one is just using toggles. We can decrease it. Right? I'll just you can see here 15 to two example three you can see how it went from 86 to 83 right but typically i just use like um okay so you can see how making that shit optimized right is very useful but apart from that you can only go with so much with optimization 
for live duty. Good luck. The best way that I can suggest if you want to really be hyper optimized, just make shit invisible when you're working like that. So that you, not really you don't have to worry, but more so that your PC doesn't have to visibly see the thing you're working on. Good luck, everyone. I hope you'll have a very good time. This is how you optimize in Life Duty.